The first time the user logs into the program, the system will show the Add Instrument window. Each instrument is accompanied by a black box that contains calibration standards, data, and apertures. These standards are unique to the instrument and are identified with the instrument's serial number. Within the Add Instrument window, the user will first choose the manufacturer of the instrument from the pull-down list, then the instrument model. The communication parameters are available by default and the user has the ability to adjust them if necessary. The user will then input the serial number. Once all the information is added, press the Add button. At this point, the system dialog box will open and allow you to insert the calibration CD into the drive of your computer. Find the drive that the calibration disk is inserted into. It is important to select both files and press the Open button. The system automatically opens the calibration screen. Select the desired calibration options for your instrument and click Calibrate. Place the black trap pictured here on the instrument with the opening of the trap lined up with the opening of the spectrophotometer. Press Ready. When prompted, place the white calibration standard against the instrument and press Ready. Do the same with the diagnostic or green tile. When the measurement is complete, the results of the diagnostic tile will be displayed. The decision should be Pass. Click OK to close the screen. Once calibration is complete, the system will return to the main measurement window. Notice there are options available to change the instrument settings. Under Measurement Conditions, you have number 1, Specular, which allows you to change the specular, whether it be included or excluded. Number two, aperture, allows you to change the aperture size that you're using with the instrument and also auto zoom functions. Number three, flashes allows you to set the number of flashes with the instrument per reading. Four is percent UV being used. And six is whether or not you're using a UV cutoff filter and at what position. Tabs are also available for further configuration such as choosing options for single and multiple measurements. For further details, please refer to our support area in our website at www.datacolor.com support slash.